Welcome back to the Low 2011 Forum. The last round question is from Mr. Lu. Yes. As a Canadian Chinese, we are very concerned about the immigration policy. Uh, nowadays, a lot of people, or friends of mine, complain to me that, that it seems harder uh, for the skilled worker and parents to immigrate to Canada. So I will address uh, this issue to both uh, of our candidates. What's the key element need to be put in place to actually make a fair and effective immigration policy? <coughs> Let me address this. Well, I am also an immigrant, and uh, so therefore I share the um, pains, the, um, the growing, uh, coming into Canada, adapting to a new country. I share all those, all those trials and tribulations with uh, Chinese Canadians who've been in this country for at least, uh, you know, well, the last 40 years. And, and also, you, you need to know that Chinese immigrants have been in Canada since the 1860s. That's over 160 years of history, and, and we should be fully participating members of this uh, society. Um, your question refers to what their um, difficulties are, and one of the difficulties that I have experienced certainly is their, their foreign credential recognition. The next difficulty is uh, their ability to engage in the mainstream society because of uh, certain language uh, uh, difficulties. Um, and then perhaps a third one is that culturally um, we, uh, we have our own cultural differences that are not totally mainstream. I mean, one of the opposites is that, you know, we write from right to left uh, traditionally and up and down and, you know, the Western culture goes left to right, uh, you know, and, and across. So there are fundamental differences. And, and of course, uh, you know, I, I certainly think that by now uh, we have uh, internationalized our cuisine to the point that we all enjoy each other. But the conservative government is, we need, we will have a China strategy. This, the, everybody other than the Aboriginal communities in this country, we are all immigrants. We are all either first generation or multiple generations back, in my case many generations back, but we are all, the, whole, the entire country has been built by immigrants and I think it's one of the things that makes Canada completely unique in the world and I, although we have had challenges, we've had obviously waves of, 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 of uh, sometimes prejudice, sometimes bias. Over the years, Canada has become the most successful pluralistic country a community in the world. And I, as a Canadian, I think as both Canadians, we're extremely proud of that. It's how we manage conti to continue to take advantage of that. In my office, um, as a member of Parliament, immigration is by far the biggest challenge, by far. We have huge waiting lists. We have many people who are denied opportunities because of fraud. We need to address fraud. We need to address the people who are trying to get into the country improperly. Um, and that don't mean ref refugee is another issue entirely. Um, but in doing that, we have to make sure that those who want to come here legitimately are encouraged to come, are able to come much more quickly. In some cases, it's five, six, seven years for, for people to come. Um, I'm also very proud of the fact that in my office we have what we refer to as our wall of thanks. When you go into the office on the one wall are all of the cards and letters and pictures of people that we've helped, that, that, that our team has helped to get to Canada, to stay in Canada. Um, but it takes too long, it's too cumbersome, it needs what much more investment. We need to invest to make sure that the, the processes have people come quickly and are able to stay and that, that, and that they are there legitimately and can contribute as soon as they get here. I'd love to talk more about settlement services and those opportunities too. Yes. Um, I'm concerned about the backlog for the parents and yes. grandparents application. Now it takes about five, six, some people say 11 years. Sometimes longer, yeah. And also fewer Chinese immigrants can come as skilled worker because like uh, the, the job uh, or we should have from a couple hundred job uh, category cut it to uh, 38 now to 29. It, it seems a trend. Uh, fewer uh, skilled worker uh, from Chinese or from China can came as skilled worker. So I just want to know what what is the overall thing about in this trend. Tony, I, I also understand that you're an immigration consultant, so this is probably very dear to your heart. Uh, it's a good question. Uh, I think uh, the conservative government needs to look at the total China strategy. We have to first of all recognize the fact that 
Um, China is one of our biggest uh, export markets. We are also recognizing the fact that China will be one of perhaps one of our greatest source of investment, uh, inbound investment. And then thirdly, China will be uh, one of our largest uh, investment, uh, sorry, immigration pool of people. In addressing that, um, the when we inherited the government from the Liberals, there was a backlog of over 800,000 cases uh, around the world. It was an unmanageable uh, situation. And I, uh, of course, I have not been in government. I just understand that this was a situation. I don't know how it got there. Uh, but I think with the Conservative government, what we are trying to do is to start focusing and saying, all right, how do we want to build the next generation of Canadians? How do we want to uh, bring the poor people and, and perhaps um, uh, accelerate their, um, their, their application process so that they can come and be a contributing member for the society? You know, it, it's interesting. I, I mean, the, 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 my frustration is that in the last five and a half years, the, the Conservative government has in fact pulled back and has, as you said, restricted the categories, is proposing to restrict family unification. Um, and, and it ties back to an earlier discussion as only one example of daycare and early learning. We know, particularly in, in Chinese cultures, older parents stay home and look after the children. We have three and, and sometimes more generations of families that live together specifically so that the, 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 the parents can do their work, can go to work, and you have grandparents looking after children. It's fantastic. But if you prevent those parents from coming, then they are un in incapable of helping and those parents with those small children because they don't have daycare are, are caught in a bind. So this is a perfect example of where we need to encourage. We need to encourage the ability for parents to come in those, in those situations. Canada was built by families. Canada was built not just by having one person come over and, and stay here for the rest of his or her life, and in most cases it was men. They would come, but you want people to have their families come so that they can in fact build lives, have their own children. I've, I've met so many people at the door who are when, canvassing and knocking on, on doors in the last number of, of uh, two weeks. The number of Canadian success stories who are exactly those families who have come, who have then had children, who have gone on to build even more of this country. It, it is a Canadian success story, and by cutting it back and by making it longer, we are making it more difficult. That, well, that liberal, but the liberal tradition, you know, the, from, from pre, Pierre yeah. Trudeau and multiculturalism, immigration has been a mainstay of, of liberal government policies, and we're very proud of that and want to continue to do that. We need to also look at the corollary of that, Martha, in that if these people come here and we do not have the economic stimulus program in place, we do not create uh, jobs for them, it is equally frustrating for immigrants to come in here and, and, and then we'll find jobs. I think it is absolutely necessary that we continue on our economic recovery program, our economic action plan, the phase two of it by lowering taxes, by stimulating the economy to create those jobs that is needed for the immigrants. It is mm -hmm. no good to have immigration, but they cannot find a job here.